right, I tell you they're champs now. This is the Alleyware M17 Content Creation Review. So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, Wolf. It's Windows Pro time. Now, I will say that these Alienwares are used for content creation. I'm telling you, I see them everywhere used for content creation. Uh, Tobias, Surface Studio, who does all this After Effects tutorials, he has a different Alienware, like the uh, big one. He uses Alienware for all his After Effects, video editing, stuff like that. And also, what's very surprising here is, do you know Grimes? Do you know who Grimes is? Well, she does ads for Apple. She does music, of course. She makes music. And as you can see here, she's done an ad for Apple. And if you don't know who Grimes is, if you have a look here, Elon Musk, Grimes, she was dating Elon Musk for a while. So maybe you know her from there. But interestingly, something I found is on her Twitter account, she was doing some After Effects or something for her new We Appreciate Power song, which was released late last year. I think it was released. Anyway, there you can see here, Alienware M15. She really appreciates power because if you want power, yes, you know what to do. And she's sponsored by Apple or paid by Apple, but what does she use when she needs the power? Hey, eh? Alienware, there you go. And I'm pretty sure she would have been given a Mac and you can use After Effects on the Mac using the Alienware. That's what it is. So anyway, great for content creation, especially with this 4K display, 17 inch. Wide color gamut. I measured about 88% Adobe RGB. I'm sure if I lowered down the brightness, I would get a higher reading, but it is what it is. I always test at max brightness. Also inside, you have two M.2 slots. You have an option of a 90 watt hour battery, which would be great if you're on the go, like a workstation on the go. 17 inch screen is the best because it's big. That's just how it is. Big screens are better. Portable workstation, this thing is. And getting back to the M.2s, because you have two M.2s, you can put one as your Windows drive and one as your content drive. So you have all your content on there and that makes a huge difference having the two different drives there instead of lumping it on the one drive. You also can get a mechanical hard drive if you get the small battery and you can replace that with an SSD, I guess. 2M.2 is awesome. I love that. So anyway, so it's going to be great for content creation. Let's see how it performs. So here we can see the sample project, the rendering project. And yeah, it's like top three straight away. Boom, straight away. And interestingly here, if we go down to below the XPS 15, 9570, you can see the Aorus 15 with the RTX 2070 Max P. So that's the 2070 Max P. So very fast for rendering, if that's really important to you. I'm going to get into the timeline later and I'm going to show how fast it is with Lightroom as well. Now, if I look at Spec View Perf, which is basically test 3D capabilities. So this will be great for creating content. So this will be great for 3D Studio Max, Maya, Cartier, stuff like that. If you're into 3D, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, what's interesting is on the right here, we have the Aorus 15 with the 2070 Max P. And on the left, we have the Alienware M17 with the RTX 2080 Max Q. Now look at the scores here. Look, 3D Studio Max, it beat the Max P. Uh, Maya, yeah, all right. The Max P is faster. Cartier, faster again on the Max Q of the Alienware. So this is a 3D beast. And if we have a look here compared to the 1070 Max Q, you can see it just smashes the 1070 Max Q, like no questions whatsoever, just beats it out there, no problems. Although Maya is a bit of a strange one. Why is the 1070 faster than Maya? I have no idea. Now, if we have a look at the Photoshop score here on the left is Alienware M17 and on the right is the Aorus with the 2070 Max P. So, and you can see there, the Max P does get the overall faster speed there. But this one here, the filter score on the Alienware is really high. So yeah, I would expect the GPU scores to be different. One's Max P, one's Max Q, but not that much difference overall. And if you compare that to a 1070, a 1070 Max Q will get around 780 or something like that, a final score there. So obviously it's going to be great for Photoshop. So now let's have a look how it performs in Lightroom and then we'll get on to Premiere Pro. In the timeline, I'll test some 4K, 5K, 6K, 8K video. So yeah, make sure you stay to the end there. Alrighty, if I haven't already mentioned it, I have a cold. Apologize for the voice. Now we are in Lightroom. Let's see how it, you know, goes into the previews there. Boom. Oh, and we'll see how quickly it previews. 
boom, straight in, straight out, next photo, boom, straight in, we'll go across, it's going through these photos quite nicely, boom, let's zoom in, zoom out, next photo, boom, zoom in, nice and quick, like that, going through the, oh, I missed, <laughs> I misstepped with the button there, I pressed the wrong button, so yeah, let's go through them, boom, 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 shake, shake the room, nice and quick, let's go in, okay, let's go out, next photo, I'm liking this because a lot of the times you go through the catalogue in a um, Lightroom and it takes like forever, this is just like instant, 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 and if I want to go in close, it's boom, straight in, straight out, oh, wrong button again, straight out, <laughs> if you hit the right button, straight out, in, out, yeah, that's instant. So let's go into the develop module. First thing we'll do is the clarity. The clarity is very hard on the system. So let's slide it left and right with the clarity. And as you can see with the slider, you can see that's almost instantaneous. So that's just raw power there, as you'd expect. Um, let's do some brushing. Get a brush and we'll bring down that. Oh no, we'll bring that exposure up a little bit. And we'll just brush, oh that's a bit too much, but then let's see, that's instant as well. Let's get a bit of clarity, let's slide the clarity. Look at that, that's instant too. Whoa. With the brush there, how do I add another brush? So there you can see, boom, boom, shake, shake the room, even with the brush there, no problems whatsoever. Lightroom, you're covered, uh, let's just... Yeah, let's go here. Instant. Oh, look at that. Instant, instant, instant. And even if I was just doing clarity, we'll get rid of that. And we will just do clarity because that's the hard one. That's the one that really crashes the system there. And we'll just go here. And you can see how quick that clarity brush. And the blur one used to be, like in Photoshop, I know the blurred one's really hard on the system. But the clarity one's really hard on the system in Lightroom. So you can see there, look. That's just instant, a scrub everywhere, boom, 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 shaking, shaking the room. All right, Lightroom, you're done. So this absolute weapon, Alienware M17 with their RTX 2080 Max-Q will have no problems with the 4K content. It's just going to smash it. As you can see, it can play it back at full, it can play the high resolution photos, no problems with the color correction and all, play it all at full. And it's not even working doing it. You don't even hear the fan come on, anything like that. It's just, yeah, it's not struggling at all. And it just crushes this 4K content. Let's see how many streams it can play. Boom. As we can see here, it can play four streams of 4K footage, you know, for a bit. And then it starts to drop frames, maybe, you know, seven, eight seconds. And if you put it to three, it'll play three, no problem. So three streams of 4K, no problem, four it will play it, but then it starts to drop frames at the end. But remember, this is straight out of the camera. It hasn't been processed to Cineform or ProRes or anything like that. It is compressed footage. Let's move on to some high-res content. All right, all right, all right. So let's do some higher-res footage. So we'll go 8K, 6K, 5K. We'll go backwards from 8K. Now, they did say RTX would be able to decode these sort of things but i think definitely they meant desktop but look at that this is 8k footage man i can tell you now before rtx laptops or even just a year or two ago this would be just like a slideshow so you can probably hear the fan cranking in anyway let's see if it plays it i already know the answer to this all right play no 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 and let's see if it gets to real time if it catches up uh no no it's not gonna do it yep yep oh nearly no it's not it's not real time 8k no laptop will play back 8k actually maybe the area 51 would i reckon that would but anyway let's go to half playing back at half then it stops it stops starts dropping frames at half um, let's try that again. Okay, and then it starts dropping frames. Let's go down to quarter. And I think some laptops will play back quarter. I think most of them did. 
Let's play it back and quarter. We seem to have it's a go. Green light for quarter. Uh, sometimes you get that lag at the start. I don't know what that is. It's just a premiere thing. Every desktop does it as well. So yeah, it plays back quarter, no problem. All right, so that's quarter 8K. That's not that much different from the last generation laptops, to be perfectly honest. Let's try some 6K footage. Yeah, and it's not butter and it's full, obviously. <laughs> but that is still still nice scrub in there. It is 6K footage. Let's see if it plays back 6K footage. Okay. Nope, she ain't playing back 6K footage at full. I'll try that one more time. Uh, let's go. 6K footage at full. Ooh, then it starts to drop frames. Okay, at full. It can play it for a little bit. It scrubs okay at full, but yeah, we're going to half now. Let's see. Green, it's a goal. 6K footage and still drops frames at half. Let's go. I'll try it once more. Uh, let's go. Actually, I should have seen how many frames that dropped in. Uh, 6K footage at full. Getting there, we're going, we're going. Ooh, 6K at half, sorry. That's not full. What did I say full? At half, yeah. So half, it's still, it can play it back a bit and then it starts to drop frames and, yeah, it's going to be pretty much the same as the 8K footage, I guess, in that regard. Um, yeah, it'll play it back a quarter, just like it does with the uh, 8K footage. So you can still edit it quarter, 6k footage it still looks good so don't worry about that so we'll change it now to 5k so we know it works with 4k 4k is like butter 5k let's see how we go with 5k okay just confirm change sequence settings 5k oh nice lights there well, that looks cool it's a bit of this shows you how good the red cameras are. It's like hardly any noise on that image, on that uh, video. All right, let's see if it plays it. So this is 6K footage, and it's just boom, straight. What did I say? I said 6K. This is 5K. 5K footage. I'll get it right in the end. I am sick. My brain's a bit mush at the moment. 5K footage. Uh, yep. You can play back 5K footage, no problem. So 4K, no problems whatsoever. 5K, yes, you've seen it. Red, raw, straight out of the camera. Oops, 5K, it'll play, no problems. Uh, 6K, it'll play it. You can edit it, no problem. But, yeah, it's not going to play it at full, not even going to play it at half. You know, you have to go to quarter. But I, I suppose you could edit half. And 8K, you know, pretty much performs like the last generation laptops. And so 8K footage, you will have to go back down to quarter. So still a great content creation device. I mean, this is great for content creation because it, it has this awesome wide color gamut display, 4K display, and it's like 17 inches. So I love it just for video editing. It's just the biggest screen. I'll get it out. I wish more 17-inch laptops would come out. 